We found Nalongo Betty Namata in Kasubi. She's a market vendor dealing in Irish potatoes. She has been sleeping in the market for over a month now, but yesterday she managed to secure a bicycle and rode all the way from St. Balikudembe Market to her home in Nansana. Namata had left her four biological children and three others she takes care of at home. Her husband was there, but she had asked a neighbor to help out. I have reached well. I found them all fine. This is Kiza. She wants to go back with me to the market. She's upset with me, but I have to leave her here. The neighbors have helped me keep my children. Her husband and the other children are away at the moment. Quarantine breaks you. A man sits there, gets tired, goes indoors, gets tired. They get tired of being home idle. Let us pray quarantine ends. Nalongo did not come home empty-handed. She was mindful to buy food on her way and some charcoal. We followed her as she went haggling from one shop to another. She carried her merchandise on the bicycle to save on money she would have spent paying a border border rider to take it for her. They called me and told me the food I left home was finished, so I had to buy more. We waited for the food they were distributing to reach, but up to now, nothing. I bought what I can to tide the family over for the next weeks of the lockdown. She, like many other women, had been resigned to staying in the market for as long as she had to. Her resolve was broken by a phone call from home. They told me my child failed and broke two teeth. I could not walk to Nansana. I decided that as soon as there is a lift in the measures, I'll go home and see my children. And now that she has seen the children and brought some food home, she must go back to the market. The money will not make itself, and the person she got the bicycle from is waiting. I have to take the bicycle back today. The person who gave it to me needs it back, so I'll ride back and sleep in the market. The journey home was long and eventful, and so will the journey back to the market. Even in this day and age, people are still surprised to see a woman riding a bicycle. People are shouting, Madam, take us on your bicycle. Do women ride bicycles? See what Corona has done. They laughed at me, but I did not mind. I was on a mission to see my children. The children are not happy that their mother has to leave so soon, and it takes a bit of convincing for them to let her go. We visited Nalongo at the market the next day. The man who had lent her the bicycle for a fee of 5,000 shillings was not happy that she had not come back in time, but he was glad to have been of help. I called and she kept saying she was coming. When it was too close to curfew, I walked home. She told me today that curfew found her on the way and security officers questioned her a lot until she made it back here. It is mostly women who stay here overnight, especially the older ones. Even if you tell them to go home and come each day, it is hard with no means of transport. Many live far and cannot make the journey each day. This period is bad. There are no customers. People are not buying. The children are out of school and we do not have school fees to send them back when they open. I sleep here because my children must get food. We have never received the promised food from the government. I have never gone back home yet. I have a nine months old baby. We cannot go home. If I use a border, they will beat me. I cannot walk home. I will stay until they allow taxi 
cease to work. If I go home, I will not be able to come back. If I stay home, who will give me money to feed my children? Let them remember us in the market and bring that posho and beans to us in the market. The president should get an interpreter to translate for us what he's saying in English. They told us we could go home. We packed up ready to go. When we called the people with cars, they said no, our cars are still not allowed on the road. For Nalongo, her hard work is for her children. I want to work hard for my children. I need to get their school fees and get them to university, build houses and become a landlord. After Corona, I hope customers will come back and that we will be able to go back home.